Welcome guys from my Video Copelli, welcome back to my channel. Today I beat myself. Guys, amici, ho superato me stesso. Ecco qua. I made those pancakes. They look so amazing. Mm. Very easy to make soft. Wow. Very easy to make. Here you are going to find the full recipe. How to make the cupcakes pizza style by Maestro Vitio Copelli. Ecco come farà voi i cupcake alla pizza da Maestro Vitio Copelli. Ok, mescolare per un minuto. Let's melt everything for about one minute. Let's try to have someone to help. This way we don't make the little ball, so the, the, the flour this way it will melt better. Mescoliamo per bene, impastiamo per bene per non formare i, i grumi di farina. Okay, now that we have all the ingredients in, we have to mix really hard for about uh, for about uh, five to ten minutes. Quando è tutto integrato, possiamo passare al banco. Okay, guys, when everything is uh, is ready, we can put everything on the counter. We should to get everything. Voila, done. So now let's mix up the dough this way. And at this point, the dough is ready. I mean, it's been at room temperature for about uh, two hours, but you know, the room temperature can change between mine and yours. If it's cold, I mean, you have to just double check that the dough is double up. Let me get it. Look at this, the dough. The dough looks uh, amazing, double up, really strong. Now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on the second step. First thing to do in the meantime that we are working in the... <clears throat> in the meantime that we are going to stretch the, the pizzas, the, that we're going to stretch the dough and go in the third step, we're gonna go ahead and turn around the oven. We're gonna go ahead and set up the oven about uh, 380 to be able to cook those uh, amazing uh, uh, cupcake pizza by Vito Jacopelli. I'm gonna do something special and uh, stay and watch. The dough looks outstanding, really strong, like you can see, amazing touch. Now, let's put a little bit of uh, flour on the, our counter. Usually, you can use marble or wood, it's the best. Put a little bit of flour on the counter, not too much because this dough is very dry already. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to take it out in the same way how it is the dough. So gently you go ahead and take it out. There we go, you'll find the dough really strong. Also this dough is really good to make some sandwiches. So if you have some dough left, go ahead and make some sandwiches. So let's go and let's make a big pizza. There we go. This dough we're gonna go ahead and stretch with uh, our rolling pin because we want the same thickness for our cupcakes, pizza. Cupcake pizza or muffin pizza, whatever you wanna call it, you call it. Because I really love so much the pizza that I say, I have to make something different. We don't wanna make it too thin and we don't wanna make it too thick. 
So we're gonna go ahead and find our thickness ab about this much, F and inches probably, or even less. If you have any question, is now is the right moment to go ahead and comment below. There we go. Now that we have a big pizza, amazing. Same size, just a little bit of flour one more time. Let's go ahead and let's flip it over. So we measure with our finger, with our touch. We're gonna go ahead and just do it one more time. You can have fun when you make the dough and you don't really want... Wow, wow. Now that our dough is nicely stretched, we have one the thickness that we want, little bit of flour on top, just a little bit. Let's put the dough on the side. Let's get our uh, pan. Of course, if you want to make those cupcake or uh, muffin, you have to have a, a pan that have the shape to make it. Let's get a little bit of butter. Let's put it in uh, all in the sides of uh, our uh, our pan. But if you have uh, help yourself with a little bit of fingers. So, you know what I'm doing? I'm thinking about the pizza Chicago style. Because Chicago style, that's how they do it. Coming soon, I'm gonna make a Chicago style pizza at the house. Now, let me make one just to make sure that you understand. And squeeze this butter in nicely. Now, let's go ahead, massage the pan just like that. Wow, fantastic. Now, this butter we don't need anymore. Now, my touch is I want to put some uh, little bit of pecorino inside all the holes. So let's go ahead, let's put it in just like that, nicely inside. Now, let's go ahead, let's put it just do this. This way, we have the Parmesan cheese or the pecorino cheese all in one side. This way, we have the creamy, the crunchy taste of the cheese under the cupcake. Get uh, some. Uh, shaper which is a little bowl and we have to make sure that is double the side of our hole so we're gonna go ahead and cut our dough and shape the dough just like that you know because here in this channel i'm trying to do everything easy for you now let's get the harp cupcake and we gotta put it in how simple is that voila now that we have the base we're gonna go ahead and uh, make and put the ingredient inside. Voila, take a look. Perfect shape. Now let's fill it up. There we go. We just did the last one and uh, we need 12, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have to, when we have some dough left like this, let's go ahead, let's make another ball. Let it rest for about 30 minutes cover, and then we, can, we are able after to go ahead and stretch it again. Okay, even less than 30 minutes, I just wait for 10 minutes and then the dough is already easy to stretch. We're just gonna, we just need another two more that you can easily go ahead and use it again and mix it again. So it's not like uh, the actual pizza that you cannot uh, go ahead and stretch it again. If you have too much dough on the sides, you can use a scissor and go ahead and let's cut the extra dough from the sides. There we go. This way we don't have an extra dough everywhere. Outstanding, guys. Very easy to do. This is my goal for you on this channel is uh, to find everything easy to make. So I hope you go ahead and share this video with friends and family because literally it makes, I may I take five minutes to make this dough and uh, to make this cupcake and it's really easy. Done. Let's go into the second step. Now let's go ahead and let it rest for 15 minutes with the uh, towel on top. Done. 15 minutes. 
and voila after 15 minutes I got ready some ingredients veggie meats I got this little two uh, pieces of cheese because uh, we will need it so we got the ingredients that you want the important thing is we have uh, we need uh, some shredded cheese with a little bit of uh, uh, thicker cheese and then of course some tomato sauce this is from San Marzano we find uh, the our cupcakes a little bit more uh, puffier than before so and put a, one spoon of uh, tomato sauce inside just not too much not too much just a little bit there we go just like that nicely Wow, I can smell the tomato sauce. Woo! Wow. I can smell the tomato sauce from, uh, from Naples, from Italy. It's amazing. Now, second step. Let's go ahead and let's put the shredded cheese. As I repeat, not too much, just a little bit this time because we're gonna do something special here. Let's put some cheese. There we go, some shredded cheese. And all of the pancake on the cupcakes there we go there we go just a handful of and don't worry about if you get some cheese here and there because anyway it's going to burn done now let's get a pair of scissors and then let's get and let's cut some uh, big pieces like two or three pieces inside this way we're gonna have we're gonna go ahead because uh, in the oven because we're gonna cook it for about 20 minutes all the cheese of course is gonna get melted and especially the shredded cheese that's why we are going we're going to put some thicker cheese this way we're gonna actually have some nicely cheesy cupcakes Done. now at this point let's put a little bit more uh, cheese because we want the cheese to go all uh, the same level of the cupcake make sure Amazing. I can't wait to put it in the oven. Outstanding! You! Fantastic. Fantastic. Pum, pum, pum. Fantastic. Fantastic. Dun, 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 dun. Fantastic. Fantastic. Guys, I get so much excited when I do food oh, that I, I mean, I get excited, man, because I love food. I love to cook. Now, I mean, I pre-cut some small pepperoni. Gonna go ahead and let's put it here nicely. Done. Wow. Now, same thing. I pre-cut some zucchini and we're gonna make some vegetarian. Put a little bit of breadcrumbs on top of the zucchini. This way, we have the zucchini. Uh, we have the cupcake uh, vegetarian one. A little bit more flavorful. Outstanding. Little bit of breadcrumbs. Now, done. Olive oil on top of the breadcrumbs. The final step is we need to put uh, some tomato sauce on top of the on the cheese one. to complete our outstanding cupcake. Woo! Little bit of Parmesan cheese. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Our cupcakes ready to go in the oven. Woo! Outstanding! We're gonna cook it at 360 for about 20 minutes. But check every, you know, after 20 minutes, Check it out because if the cupcakes are brown, they are ready. So let's go ahead, let's put it in the oven. The oven, of course, is preheated. Okay, guys, I wanna get, I wanna get the occasion now that uh, the, my cupcakes pizza are cooking. 
I want to uh, really, really say thank you, thank you so much for all the support that you guys are giving me. Really, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm really, really serious. Uh, I'm not joking. I like, like you see, you. I don't know if you saw my previous video. Uh, my previous video, check out here where I put uh, the end. Uh, I want to explain to you why I put the end. This is not a, a clickbait. Uh, video because uh, you know uh, the people that have been following me for years uh, they know that I'm not the kind of person that does video just for clickbait okay I'm gonna tell you something something very serious please uh, it's not a clickbait that video was made uh, from my art and really really uh, was uh, uh, the end for me was the end of a, a life that I was uh, uh, living and this one here here thanks to you that are watching is the new life that I'm living so is the beginning that was the end of my life of a restaurant owners okay that's I want to make clear that was the end so I had to put the end because it was the end and this is uh, uh, the beginning of my life this uh, because I choose you because uh, thank you, I, uh, I was able to make this decision. And then I want to say thank you to all the people, more than 700 people comment uh, under the video, and I want to say big thank you to all of them. Uh, one by one, I'm trying to answer to everyone, and uh, please guys, uh, I mean, don't, don't take a bad uh, because I put the end. Uh, that was the re that was real the end for me and then the, the picture of myself was not made in purpose what that was actually moment that I was uh, uh, I was feeling so I want to say thank you for all the support that you guys are giving me uh, nothing just keep watching keep sharing and uh, the more we the more we fly together on YouTube the more I will able I will be able to post video and uh, everything because uh, you know uh, uh, making a video is part of my life now so thank you enjoy this video uh, amici grazie tante I'm gonna speak a little bit in Italian for my friend in Italy because there are so many in Italy too that, that follow me uh, niente vi voglio spiegare perché ho messo la fine perché quella lì era una fine della mia vita e questa qui su YouTube è la mia nuova vita quindi ho fatto un video non per il click uh, per avere un click, per avere una visualizzazione, perché sinceramente non mi serve, ho voluto fare quel video per farvi sentire, per, farvi, uh, te per tenervi partecipi nella mia vita, praticamente, perché ovviamente ho scelto di fare lo YouTube da uh, questo mese a questa parte. Quindi uh, vi ringrazio per tutto il supporto, io uh, con la mia pizzeria sono anche ancora proprietario, e ovviamente faccio la mia parte di pubblicità soltanto quindi non gestirò più e ho preso, del, eh, ho preso eh, dei nuovi soci che loro gestiranno e manderanno avanti eh, provami io lavoro sulla pubblicità e il mio nuovo, la mia nuova vita è qui su youtube quindi grazie amici condividete lasciate un like e iscrivetevi godetevi questo video dei cupcake alla pizza andiamo a vedere aspettiamo and just check it the cupcakes are ready. I can't wait to to show you guys. Woo! Oh my god! Wow! Wow! This is the first time that I make it. Che la prima volta che li faccio, ci sono venuti fantastici, guys. They came out so perfect. I mean, I can't believe my eyes because if I made it for the first time, you can make it for the first time. I want to show you to you closer, closer. Oh. Those, they, they look fantastic. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed on myself sometimes, guys. I mean, I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> I'm outstanding. I mean, take a look. All the cupcake, they come out so perfect, so lovely. We have this cheese melted from the side. Wow, oh my, my 
God. And don't even know the smell of those cupcakes. The smell is amazing. The best part, the tasting. Assaggiamo. Ovviamente non posso lasciarvi senza assaggiare il nostro cupcake. E andiamo a vedere di dentro del pancakes. Del cupcake. Pancake. Yeah, cupcake. Uh, guys, I'm gonna show you the inside. I'm gonna let it sit a little bit. Fantastic. Fanta they look lovely. Now I got my wood board. I got my custom wood board. Let's go on the side. Let's go and let's get cupcake by cupcake. Wow. Fantastic. I'm gonna get it all. Amazing. I mean, they cook so well. They cook so well. I mean, take a look. I want to show it to you closely, guys. Maybe this is not... I mean, take a look. Take a look of this cupcake. They are soft. Amazing. Wow, I mean, take a look. This is the vegetarian one. Let's get this zucchini on top. Wow. Outstanding. Wow. E ovviamente il miglior momento è questo. Guys, the best moment is this. Wow. So cheesy. Mm. Mm. Outstanding. I mean, take a look. How soft is the dough? I mean, did you see how soft is the dough? Really light. Tastes lovely. Outstanding. I mean, look at this one, how lovely it is. Guarda come bello questo, guarda. Guarda questo come bello, guarda. Cioè lo vorrei mettere lì senza neanche toccarlo, senza, solamente per vederlo.